Good morning, everybody. Morning. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Yeah, welcome, welcome back. To you. Good welcome to, to see the table. you. Here we go. Yeah. Seven o'clock hour of breakfast television coming up. Uh, we, we yesterday we were talking about Alberta. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and uh, the city of Edmonton has spent three years looking for a new brand. Okay. And so uh, it, it, they spent a lot of money, a lot of consultation, public meetings, things like that. To find out a brand they can use to sell Edmonton around the world. Are you ready for it? Yes, okay, the reveal. I like it. That's it. Edmonton. It's bold. <laughs> yeah. It's clean. It's classy. It's I got know the it's Canadian from, colors. Yeah, I know it's from Canada. Edmonton Leaf. I you like what? But, but it'd be three years work. Kev, it reminds me of the Toronto sign that we added the leaf to. It's that exact same <laughs> aesthetic, and, and it works. And this, is where, and this is where branding's actually going, uh, that yeah. very simplistic... Well, they call this a, yeah. they call it a word mark. And, then, yes. and, and there was all sorts of memes on, on uh, about, you know, come on. I mean, three years work, and this is what... I can understand, I think it, maybe it's a good idea to keep it clean and simple. I thought there would at least be, like, some sort of, you know, every every time you enter a city, there's, like, a line that's, like, you know, yours to discover, like, for his own <laughs> Ontario. But, like, you know, you have some sort of... It's just, it's just Edmonton? Is oh, it a, is someone, a someone, line well, someone's just telling, oh, okay, apparently that maple leaf isn't a maple leaf, it's more like an asterisk, and there's a footnote. Okay. Can, we, can we look at that again? So it's not really a leaf, it's an asterisk telling you to look for the, the footnote. So let, let's... It's a leaf. Let me see that. Is that let me see this. Is that, oh, oh, there is something there. Uh, our mom gave us some money for new branding, but we gave it all to Conor McDavid. <laughs> oh! Connor True. McDavid was just signed a whopping mega deal. What, $12.5 million a year, starting yeah. next year, not this year. New market data. Let's call it what it years. is. It's $100 million. $100, $100 million. Dollars. Yes. $100 million $100 contract. Million dollar hockey uh, player. Yeah, he's, uh, he's worth it. And actually, he accepted less money than he needed to uh, because they have a hard salary cap, so they can only spend so much. And they want he wants other players to be able to play with him. So he accept, he probably could have taken a max deal, which would have been about $14 million. Uh, it was reported last week it was going to be 13.5. 13.25. Yeah, week, and yeah. now it's 14. I, or sorry, 12 and a half. Wow. And, and I, but and, and the I, thing is, we, we could have gotten them a little easier. It's insane to really think about, to think that someone is going to pay me $100 million to do what I would do anyway on a record day. It's insane. Even he thinks it's insane. No, but he's super talented, guys. And if you look at it, if you look at the MLB, mm -hmm. you look at the NBA, and you look at their payment scales, I think he ranks about 75th. He'd oh, be yeah. 75 huh. in, the, in, look, in Major yeah. League Baseball. Oh, look, oh my God. Look, look at NCAA. <laughs> you know, he's yeah. probably oh, even yeah. below all, all of that. Well, so. and, and I think that you have to remember, that sounds like a lot of money for one hockey player, but he is on the ice for... 40% of Edmonton's goals. Mm -hmm. He is. There's so much pressure. Points, there's right? so much riding on it for your franchise. They get what they are valued at. Absolutely. Get what they're, they're, it's all relative. They get what they're valued at. But he's, I mean, this is, what year are we into now? Uh, three, two. This is his second. Second, This yes. was his second year. For some reason, I'm trying to think. It's got to be more than just his second this, year. He won the scoring title. He won the MVP. Uh, this guy is like, he's 20 years old, he, and he's already won a scoring, scoring title on MVP. 20 Season years two. old and a multi-millionaire. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I wonder, as being an NHLer, you have to greet, eat all those gr uh, green shakes. You need to work out all the time. <laughs> You're right. Are you really going to get to enjoy the $12.5 million? That's a good point. But he, <laughs> and now, he has been great. Like, I, I live in Bradford, which is right with Newmarket. We're a part of YSC, which is York Simcoe Express, because he's so close. He's been so great to stimulate hockey. Mm -hmm. I see every kid right now that's playing minor hockey with a number 97 on the team. My yeah. son's number is number 97. There you go. He's already their hero and their yes. mentor. Uh, Melanie was just pointing, she just texted me. Uh, the, uh, why did she have to text me? What? <laughs> she could just interrupt. I see a lot of exclamation marks. Uh, she, she's the Edmonton sign, and she's right. The, let's bring up the original Edmonton <laughs> one. It looks just like McLean's. It, it does. Maybe oh, yeah. it, it does sort of look like the McLean's <laughs> logo, right? They're just the first one. I feel like the McLean's font is different, though, but the colors are similar. The font is a little side, bit more, let's our, say, established looking. Our computer system. Modern. There we go. Versus. Hmm. All right. You're watching Breakfast Television or just BT. It's uh, coming up at 7 o'clock. <laughs>